guys going back to CRX Paranormal. I have found a cemetery I've never been to before. It's beside a beautiful lake. Wait till you see this, guys. So this is a lake here right down here below where this cemetery is. And i uh, never been here before. Um, I actually had plans to go to another cemetery that I have been to before but uh, wasn't able to film but uh, I love documenting these cemeteries and going to ones we've never been to before and like I say just just a beautiful view of the lake down here um, and what I want to do is get the uh, ghost tool app running and uh, See if we catch any word spirits. If there's anyone with me, you can speak in this device that's at my right hand. I'll be able to read the words that come through. And if there's any spirits with me, you can tell me your name. And I'll look for where you're at in here. So again, beautiful down through there. A um, little breezy. But of course, that's you know right out next to a lake. See if it gets any activity. We're using a blue hand app, as we call it, ghost tool. A little activity right now. Water would help probably magnify some and uh, eliminate. Not sure what that might mean. Got use. Um, so let's see, we got uh, 1892, 1971, so 18, so dating back to the 1800s, 1895, so these are very old headstones, uh, the baby, maybe we'll get a name and maybe be able to make contact here, but this is a very old cemetery to a certain degree, I mean, there's, there's some more modern looks in here, but uh, a lot of them look to be 1800s though, uh, as far as birth. So that's very cool. Um, a beautiful day here in the area. We're just going to get really hot. I, I think it's just in the 80s right now, but it's supposed to be in the 90s. <clears throat> Let's see. Got require. Hope you all can see that good. <clears throat> Excuse me. 1873 to 1940, 1885 to 1968. Founder. Are you the founder of this cemetery? And if you are, can you tell me your name? So this must be the father, Dallas W. And this is Dallas Lee. don't know much about this cemetery at all. Uh, I just found it on the map and a uh, cool thing to use is uh, it, it's a neat app. Let me promote this again. I mean even though they don't sponsor me, I'd like for them to sponsor me. It'd be cool but it's find a grave. Give them a big shout out. You can find some, find all these different cemeteries around you. And uh, light, you know, may not even have heard of. It's got founder, which makes me think maybe the founder of this, or the, maybe the person who donated this. Can you tell me your name if you're the founder?
know what branch of the military though. Maybe we'll find that out. Virgil B. Merle Jr. 1918 1942. He was young. Thank you for your service. Um, so, yeah, the word founder still. I mean, well, here's the thing. Sometimes I get into areas where. That was my phone making a noise, but uh, where you can't get any, you know, spirits to speak with you. But then you get into other areas of the cemetery and they'll come through. So we're over here. Let's see if it starts moving again. My head kind of hanging this area. I'll be able to hear it. It is getting a little more active. So over here in this area, uh, looks like some more veterans. United States Navy. That's a beautiful headstone. Beautiful headstone. Army, Navy up here as well. Still on the word founder. I just um, it's just not active right now. It was fairly active a while ago and not so much now. Here's another better. Got Russ. Maybe the name of the um, Maybe their name was Rusty and they call him Russ or something. I don't know. That's a possibility. We'll keep that keep that in mind. This is the area that was pretty active first. This is the you know the Dallas Taylor people here. Um, hoping the wind doesn't uh, sound too bad in the video, guys. But definitely wanted to check this place out. It's new for us on the channel, and another veteran. My my dad is a veteran. Thank God he's still alive. Is that departure? Okay. Now there was one down here that said a private. We don't know what branch he was in. Let's kind of head back that way and maybe we can maybe make contact and try it and see. I don't see a Rusty anywhere. Or a Russell or something like that, which could could be, but there's a private. Private Virgil, if you're with me, can you tell me what branch of the military you're in? So I don't. There's nothing on the back, so. Um, This really look just not much here as far as uh, activity. Oh, we are getting a little bit right now though. Twelve. Not sure what twelve means. I don't know that we're actually talking to Virgil. Check this headstone out. It's got seashells in it. Oh, that's different. It is seashells. Look at that. Oh, how different. I wonder if it had more to it at one time. 
Huh. Better. And so here is what would be like a poplar. Uh, I'm assuming because there's no says love forever. So there's no names on these right through here in this, this area. So generally it's people they buried that, well they may know who it was, they just didn't have any money to uh, to you know uh, have a headstone. But it says a memory of those gone but not forgotten right there. So you got husband and wife and stuff. I think those go up there to those. But the only thing down here, there is one Paulette Woody, who was a baby, or very young, obviously 1945 to 45. Other than that, um, no names through here. And by the way, I'm showing the word 12, or number 12, I, I have everyone look at it. And um, nice breeze, don't get me wrong, it's in the 80s and hot as it can be. And um, This is uh, another uh, veteran, Sergeant 312 Base Unit AAF. It says release. Champion Old Timer sleeps here, honored in peace. Uh, that would be, I believe, the Champion Paper Mill, which is over in uh, Canton. Marnie's dad worked there, so I believe that's what that would be for. So we're getting pretty active. It's released now. Garage. Maybe somebody worked in a garage. Maybe they died in a garage. You die in a garage? Another army. So a lot of interesting words have come through, but nothing that. Tells the story. Um, so if you get a lot of spirits coming through, that happens. This this headstone. Let me look up here real quick. Not only is this a paranormal investigation, also an exploration since I've never been here before. I'm seeing all new stuff too. I'm gonna check out this headstone up here. It's pretty cool looking. Well, this one is too. Got the praying hands. Those are always beautiful. This one. Praying hands on each side, and. Painted in roses. How oh, beautiful. So on the word garage, here's a army veteran, Vietnam. Towns. Maybe that maybe meant 12 pounds, maybe, I don't know. Uh, about 12 earlier. This is a very, very unique place. I'm glad I was able to find this. Got Jackson. Okay. All right, this, let me look to the cemetery up and see if I can find someone with the last name of Jackson. Okay, so I didn't come across anyone with the last name of Jackson. Uh, it's only like 200 plus memorials in here. Now, of course, it could be down here. It could be a first name, too. I didn't think about that at first. But uh, it could be somebody's buried down here with no names on it. That's a possibility. Um, Maybe the founder was Jackson, maybe. I don't know. I did, I've not found much on this cemetery, though, so far. This is a nice, very old. Died in 1945, looks like 1942. Wow. How neat. Hmm. So, yeah, a lot of older headstones in here. Some people have died in the last few years in here. 
So it's somewhat modern as well, but So we've been on Jackson for a while. I, I gotta head out of here, but definitely want to come back and I want to you know, bring like maybe the K2 or REM pod or something. I'm doing a little more research on this place. I didn't know anything about it before. Um, possibly maybe somebody who owned this land was Jackson. Maybe. There's no one with the name of Jackson buried in here. Unless it's down where the uh, like the unknown area is. The popper area. So but anyway. Until next time, God bless. See you soon.